Uh, my Lord, I'm not making an application, but just giving an update because it may have an impact towards uh, the later part of the day when this matter will be dealt with. At the Milimani um, uh, court, uh, the exercise of examination of documents is going on, but the trouble is that some documentation is not being made available. Uh, but for those that are available, the exercise, I think, is going on smoothly. And, and we just wanted some directions that uh, this matter should be expedited. Otherwise, we'll end up with a situation at 5 o'clock uh, with the exercise not being completed. Uh, but the most serious one is what is going on at the IBC headquarters. Uh, I think uh, people, representatives are there, but there is substantial non-compliance. And we have given, we have written a letter to the court and uh, my lords, without taking a lot of time, a perusal of that letter will show that there's substantial non-compliance. Again, we are raising this not in terms of making the, uh, uh, an application, a formal application, but just to update the court and this will have an effect into what we are going to submit on uh, at five o'clock when we're given that opportunity. Uh, that's all that we wish to say. Uh, your ladyships and my lords. <coughs> yes, Mr. Mitter. My lords, on the first issue uh, regarding the issue of access ICT. My Lord, these servers are in Europe. Sorry? The servers are in Europe. We are not refusing to give access. Europe is a couple of hours behind us. We had to wait for them <coughs> to start working they have to set up the access window with safeguards. That exercise is going on, and I am instructed that that should be completed in the next one or two hours. So it's not us who are refusing to give access, except with regard to the soft copy that your order has directed we give to them of the logs. We have added a soft copy to the registrar my instructions are that uh, our opponents did not accept the soft copy. He's saying there's no non-compliance because the people in Europe are still asleep. My Lord, you remember these orders were made when they were while awake uh, yesterday. Uh, so the excuse of saying that the people in Europe are still asleep, uh, I think is not, ju is not justifiable. But by the time these orders were made yesterday, uh, and Europe is about two, three hours behind us. They were fully awake. Now we are being told this morning that we have to wait until they wake up. And my Lord, you would uh, expect this matter to be concluded by 5 p.m. So what we are just urging is that there should be full compliance. We are not going beyond the orders of the court. We are very conscious of what those orders of the court were. And we are quite happy with the orders the court, uh, the court had made. So we need compliance in time so that when we come here at 5 o'clock, we and remember, my Lord, we are only going to be given 10 minutes. So we need also to prepare our responses so that we don't uh, take a lot of time from the courts. So that's all that I wish to say. Very well. We gave the order yesterday morning. Uh, it is for the parties and their agents to work out and comply with the order within the time specified by the court. At 5 o'clock, we want a report. Anybody who will not have complied with the court order will tell us why he has not complied, and we will determine whether or not failure to comply is was reasonable, and we will deal with that. Thank you very much, Mr. 
Ngatia, can you now proceed? I hope that has not interrupted your train no, of thought. It, it has not. <laughs> it has not since uh, Mweshmiwa was one of our candidates in the electoral contest as well. It's so, so uh, Mr. Mwite, Mr. Mwite and Mr. Orengo. Yes, Mano. Please communicate with your clients. Yes. To uh, what? To comply with the court order. We have and we will continue if, to do if, so. If, if some of your, uh, your clients' agents are in, uh, in Europe or wherever, they must have been told yesterday, wake them up and uh, get the order done, I mean, complied <laughs> with. My, 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 my Lord, the clients are here in Nairobi. It, it, it is their service providers who are in Europe. The orders you be complied with, I assure this court, my lord. But one to point, I think um, we need to be guided by the IT technical people here. And I think the Supreme Court has its own IT experts working with the registrar <coughs> of the mm -hmm. court, so that these reports, uh, we also factor in the technical aspects. Because I think when we are talking, uh, we, we, we need to be guided by those experts. Are they not there at the IBC headquarters? Yes, yes, they are there. Yes, they will yeah. come and so tell us. They will exactly. come and tell us. Yeah. That's all I'm asking. Thank you. Thank you.